Hello, today we're going to talk about cleaning up your online presence. Believe it or not, your potential employer is going to make their first judgment on you based on your social media sites. I have served on several search committees and I can say there have been many cases where qualified candidates haven't received a callback because their online profiles are somewhat offensive. So let's take a look at how to clean up your digital footprint and make sure that employers see the best side of you. First up, we need to do a good old fashioned vanity search. Type your name into the top search engines and see what comes back. Don't only check those web results, see what happens when you search for images and videos as well. If you find content that you don't like, remove yourself from the platform or log in and delete the offending images. Interestingly, if I search myself, Willie Schaefer, I find that there is a wine company with the same name. Additionally, in the research for this video, as I got a little deeper, I found that there was an inactive 10-year-old Twitter account. There is nothing offensive there, but I'm going to delete it because I don't want a potential employer to see something from 10 years ago. Another thing you may want to do is set your social media profiles to friends only. Now, understandably, this might be something you don't want to do. If that's the case, you're going to want to look through all of your old posts and scrub out anything that someone might find offensive. Speaking of offensive, try to keep your profile as vanilla as possible. If you have strong feelings about hot button topics such as religion and politics, you may want to remove those posts or share those posts only with friends. As mentioned in my previous video, nine times out of 10, the first thing that an employer is gonna see of you is your profile picture. Be sure to use a professional headshot. I was serving on a committee where, no joke, one of the potential candidates had a profile picture of himself shirtless holding guns at the camera. Another thing that's beneficial, if you haven't done it, is to start a LinkedIn profile and start to really talk about your professional goals on it and share things that are relevant to your field. One last note, be sure to also look up your alter egos. If you have a screen name that's associated with your real name and someone happens across it, they might go looking for that screen name as well. Here's one last example. I found a candidate's screen name from when she was 15. And I looked up that screen name and I found blog posts about how much she loved dolphins. Now that was nothing offensive, it was kind of funny, but if you happen to have something that was related to that screen name, someone might come across it. Now, this may seem like a daunting task, but it's incredibly important. Having a clean online presence is just as important as a strong resume and good references in today's world.